Welcome to another day of Ether Raids, another week rather, and we're getting started here with um, a Japanese player. I'm always so impressed by Tacho just by the fact that he can read those uh, those kanjis. Uh, he probably studied some Japanese, I don't know, or maybe he just knows how to read that specifically. Maybe he's Japanese? Maybe. I don't know, he doesn't sound Japanese, but man, it always impresses me because it just looks like scribbles to me. I'm like, what is this alien technology? <laughs> and I'm just like, eh. Language is so interesting because that's really where we came from. It was just like sticks and strokes and now we have alphabets. Like, you know, what even what even is that? Who decided like this is what it is? But anyways, I digress. Um, we're going to try to just brute force this one since it's the first match of the week. Uh, should be a layup for Ike here. It's not anything that should bother him. Do not um, yeah, Nephany's back because she provides great support for Ike. Uh, but outside from that, she is utterly useless. <laughs> um, I was contemplating giving her the Ike ring, but I mean, eh, not worth it. Um, I could replace her with um, Baby Duel Robin, but then that's that has a space condition that you always have to meet. Um, so I don't want to... It just wouldn't work out. And I kind of want to not spend too many blessings. I'm really low on dark blessings for some reason. <laughs> Nope, not for some reason. The reason that I'm low on Dark Blessings is because Dark Defense is very difficult. There aren't that many good, good Dark Mythics, so it's very difficult to peer um, units onto a Dark team. So that's why that's going on. I have way more Anima and Astro yeah. Blessings than I do Dark Blessings. I have a fair amount of Light Blessings, um, but my Dark Blessings are struggling because it's a it's a ton of work um, trying to keep up with the uh, the the requirements to build a successful defense in dark season uh, that aside um chaos season went fairly well really really close to the rank one but it just fell off um on the last day both replays came in at the same time but the loss counted i guess it's it's probably down to like who finished first if two people go into a defense at the same time it's probably going to be down to who finished against your defense first and uh Looks like he cleared it pretty quickly. Looks <laughs> like uh, it was another flying Felix, so I, I wasn't surprised that he got through there in record time. But I, I again, I, I think I said it in the video. I really enjoyed that defense. It was uh, fun to build. Jimbro was fantastic. The only thing that could have made that defense better is if I was able to fit Makai in there somehow. Um, maybe one more slot, but I, I, I don't. I don't think it would have been um, possible. Um, again, man, Baby Duel Robin put in a ton of work um, from the last defense, so definitely going to keep him around, or her, whichever way you look at it. Well, she's in the lead, so it's really her. Um, so yeah, she's sticking around. And then, um, for dark defense, I am 100% going to be cheating <laughs> in some capacity. I don't know exactly what's going to be happening, but there will be some cheating taking place in terms of uh, the units that I'm going to be putting on defense because now that Duo Fjorm is a thing, uh, yeah, Yoon is not going to cut it at all. Uh, I'm surprised that they actually put her in the rotation, Do but um, well, I guess so because she's green and she gives those debuffs and she actually does a ton of damage to Fjorm, it's just that Eisner <laughs> ends up not mattering. Um, Let us begin. Flat damage reduction. Um, but yeah, that aside, I don't know what I'm going to do, um, aside from, I, I, what I'm really referring to is what unit combinations I'm going to put together. Um, by the time that you're seeing this, I probably would have already figured out a defense to build. Uh, I was trying to get the, um, Makaya plus, uh, I've seen Makaya plus, um, what do you call that skill again? Astra to work, but I can't get the cooldown to match what I needed to be so that's gone out the window um, it it works actually pretty well but it's so easy to counter in that uh, all that Makaya has to do is just get rid of her armor effectiveness <laughs> so which was one of the big things that I did with um, Ascended Fjorm back in the day when she was starting to struggle against Duo Chrom but I don't know, man. We'll see what they put out to help us out with this duo Makaya because we definitely need some help. I don't think we're going to get it on the next banner, which is going to be in the regular pool because they're not going to put a unit that's too powerful in the regular pool. But uh, I don't know, man. We'll see. GG's. Let's play one more. All right. We're against Diablo in the second match here. And 
This is the Edelgard team. Um, well, time. I don't know if it's really... Because it's just... <laughs> there's only one Edelgard now. Uh, I've benched Summer Edelgard. Uh, probably just for this week since Felix is bonus. Uh, I'll bring her back after Felix is um, done with his bonus rotation. I want to keep Felix in Astra. Because um, I, I, I kind of need the help over in Astra. So I think I'll, I'll leave him there. Um, but two actions in comparison to three three actions is just lights better uh, I do lose the trap gambling or the disarm trap but um, I, I can work around it it's it's fine um, but for this week this is what the configuration is gonna be I couldn't get the AOE build going on Felix because cooldown special cooldown uh, and then Lumera is here just to potentially remove ice terrain if I need her to or I don't know something <laughs> we'll see what happens with Lumera but uh, that aside, not going to be facing too much challenges clearing maps with this team. Um, only downside is like I, I, I kind of need my team to score well this season uh, because of the fact that I'm going to be cheating on defense. So um, I wish that there was a way to get Asker in here, but there isn't a, a way for me to figure it out. Um, probably need to get some merges on some of these newer mythics for situations I like this because deliver. taking a score Where hit really could really be bad you know just moving forward so I, that's something that I should potentially me. consider um, just getting some merges just to give myself some wiggle room in those situations I saw the 400 max ether um, as a potential and I was like it looks cool good job by us um, yeah, it looks really good. I wonder how it's going to actually work in practice. Is it that we no, we're no longer going to get 70, but 100 each day? So if you miss a couple days, what's that, 200? Um, and then three and four, uh, which should be enough to get you over the over the curb uh, to close out the week if you want to just play all your matches. I wonder if that's what people will start doing, just playing all their matches in one day. Like, just let the ether build... <sighs> I don't like that because what you could potentially do, you don't have to play at all on the first day. You can just let your ether sit, um, and then you can let everyone rank up. It gives you easier defense matches, but then you have to play a ton of matches all in one day, which I guess is fine if you're a good player. Um, but on the first day, you can just sit in tier 31. Um, not even just the first day, like let's say probably the first two days, that's like 250. 100 each day, you're going to be short of 50. Uh, you could still maybe do it if you wanted to. You don't have to play at all for the first day. Um, and you lose 100, that's what? 150? Yeah, you don't have to play at all for the first day. And just let that build up. And then... Uh, does it really change anything? <laughs> I don't know if it really changes anything. But I guess you, you could like make it so you get easier matchups. Um, I'm, I'm looking at it potentially for like the last day. You can probably get like really easy matchups for the last day of the week. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not going to be doing that. I, you know, I think I do skip one day just because uh, to get the videos backed up in the correct order so that I have enough to release on the weekend, I have to skip a day. Um, I Before oh, that, I didn't skip a day at all. I just post like do a video, post it, and then it's out. But just to get enough content to last over the weekend, I have to skip a day. Um, so there's that. I could potentially just skip Mondays altogether, but typically I only get like two it's defense replays on Mondays, so it's it's here or there. It doesn't really matter what day I skip. Um, Suggestions? But yeah, that's just some of my thoughts from the change. It looks pretty cool just to see the 400 number there. Never something that I thought would happen. It, it, yeah, I, I was I was thinking that maybe they'd make a higher tier, tier 40, uh, just for like the elites because so many people are hitting rank one these days that it's kind of you know you kind of want some more disparity. Um, but I don't know. It is what it is. Um, Seer Snare, uh, terrible rotation in my opinion. There's only four units from Tokyo Mirage Session and. It's in the rotation, so I don't know if they have Good any morning. plans to ever. I, I actually don't think they have any plans to release any more units from that game, but start. they keep putting it out, so it's in the rotation. So you know, we just got to deal with it, I guess. Um, and I'm, I'm sure people will be happy to actually get units from that game. It's just 
not something that they seem to want to do. But we're yeah, we're lost. gonna have to go with Path oh, of Radiance. Who I had, I, I didn't even realize that I had like right. no units for that um, that Onward. game title. Yes. That's so weird. <laughs> that is, all the other units are in the Radiant Dawn um, category. So kind of this one is gonna be a little bit challenging mm. because I don't actually have a healer for this rotation. So we're just gonna have to make it work with um, Altina, uh, and um, yeah, we're gonna see what we can do with that. Um, yes. What else? Hmm. Drawing a blank here. Um, I think that's lost. about it. Um, yeah, it's going to be a fun week. Uh, I was surprised to see that Jimbro and Haythun are going to be bonus You're again right. next week, which yeah. I did not anticipate them doing. I thought they would change the mythic rotation, but um, because the CYL units are bonus, I'm assuming they realize that no. none of the other units that are mythics for Astra Anima would actually help us out in a way that could, you know, actually benefit us I'll against these CYL units, CYL 8 units. They're really strong. So it's it's Who good to see that um, we got some nice mythics in the rotation. Um, I don't mind it at all. Um, definitely going to be a big help to try to counter the CYL units, but... Um, Definitely gonna have to change my defense. I wasn't planning on that, um, but I guess it doesn't change anything because I was gonna change my defense anyway. But again, since dual form is a thing, uh, I have to change my defense nonetheless uh, because she's just just that strong. I don't know. Like, I think I said this. Either we're gonna start having to quad everything, or um, which means uh, triangle attack, or we're gonna start neutralizing uh, the activation of uh, special, uh, special, non-special, yeah, non-special damage reduction, uh, which to my surprise was already in the game. Um, I'm sure that you all would have picked up on which unit it is by now, but yeah, let's see what IS gives us, man. Whew, what a time to be alive. GG's.